Thank you. Thank you. And you always want to say thank you to be polite. Yeah, that guy, he's very sexy. That guy who just ran forward there. I don't know where he's running, but he's very sexy. I've ridden the bus with him every day this week in the morning. Damn, son, where is he running to? I'd love to know. Anyway, yeah, that's how you ride a bus, my friends. It's just, you know, uh, devilishly simple in its operation. But yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you know, I've got a lot of time on my hands still, so I'm gonna go to Marshall's. I've been trying not to go to Marshall's because Oh, I don't know. I have nothing against Marshalls, but I was going... I, I've i actually gone to Marshalls a lot in the time that I lived in Glendale, which is two and a half years now. It's a long time. Yeah. I've actually gone to Marshalls a lot, but I was, like, trying to give Marshalls a rest, you know? I was like, okay, I've had enough time, you know, going to Marshalls. But it's so sad because the only thing I do anymore is go to grocery stores. In addition to marijuana stores. You know, that's it. But you know, I've been sleeping again, which is great. You know, why? Because, you know, I've been vaping. And I know I'm really not supposed to be vaping because I think it's not good to smoke. I do agree with that in theory. But it's like the vaping is actually what allows me to sleep. So it's a tricky one, my friends. I wish I had never learned to smoke. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, also I got this really cool notebook today. I'm saying my new job. I have anxiety about it, but the people are wonderful. And in my experience, it doesn't actually make a difference what you do. For a job, it's who you work with. Look how cute this is. They gave this thing. One of my trainers gave this to me today. Me. <laughs> Specifically. Me, living the dream. I am living the dream. I am living the dream. I'm working with wonderful people. I'm learning some new reading techniques. I mean, techniques for teaching reading, which, you know, I didn't know, you know, I've never had to teach reading before to people who struggle with reading. You know what I mean? Like, I've always taught reading and writing. So, you know, it's a technique to teach reading. And a lot of people don't know how to read for all sorts of reasons, you know? And it's just a great opportunity to connect with more people and to have a positive impact in the world. And that's the thing, the place is completely a positive vibes place. It's number one principle for both the work it does teaching kids and adults to read and to the work it does training its colleagues and just being a wonderful place for people to work. It's all about being positive, being positive, right? And again, that's the thing. It's like, it doesn't make a difference what you do for work, you know? As long as you can be positive, you know? As long as, in my experience, like, 
and, and I'm not speaking in any kind of radical political way, then that's the whole point. You know what I mean? Like, all I want is a job that's, you know, decently challenging. And I'm talking about a day job. She's asking me if it wants to join my other phone's hotspot. Oh, by the way, AT&T is, like, officially canceling my number. My longtime 917 number looks like might be gone forever. Who the fuck cares? You know, I had a 2 and 2 number more times than I can remember. Right. Anyway, whatever, people. My arm's hurting and... It's really beautiful again. People seem to be happy. Right? Because I always like to ponder literally, why can't we all just get along? Right? I don't understand. Right? Why? Can't we all be positive influences on each other, right? Why can't we all support one another? Why can't we all help? So I keep pausing because I'm like, is this where the marshals is? It doesn't make a difference where the marshals is. It's just such a beautiful day. You know, and I look good and I feel good and I have much less pain in my body today after an assiduous multi-day dedicated effort to relieving myself of the pain, including the first massage I had in almost a year. Gosh, it is actually because right across the street from it's actually my housemate's birthday today, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take myself out now that I realize I'm walking all the way down to In and Out Burger. I'm not gonna go there, though. I don't think I am. I have food at home. Two two six, first digits of the six digit number to the apartment building I want to get back into in New York. Oh, and by the way, my friends, anybody watching this, that is my next move. I definitely want to get back to New York. My original idea in coming out here was to be by coastal. And I haven't left the state of California in more than two years officially now. 
and I'm just the tiniest bit sick of California. And I'm sure I'll be super annoyed by New York the minute I get there. Another news, I have a husband pillow now, but I still don't have a man inside me. Six, five. I told one of my new colleagues today that she really had her finger on the pulse of the culture and she laughed. She doesn't know though that she really does have her finger on the pulse of the culture. We made it to Marshalls. She has the whole rest of her life ahead of her. I don't have the whole rest of my life ahead of mine. Ciao for now, I got some bargain shopping to do.